So then guys, we're out fishing today. Um, I'm at a location close to home. Again, it is the infamous Beeston Canal. Now, I'm not gonna get my oats up today, but there is this fantastic spot, let me show you. So I've fished here a number of times and I've had a few fish out to be fair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast one right over towards that wall there. I'm gonna drop one in that little trap there. And then I might just have a float rod just knocking them out, out, in, the, out in the middle sort of thing. Got my barrier, here, all my bits are down there. I'm gonna get set up and then uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on. Time at the minute is nine o'clock in the morning and we're gonna see what happens. By the time we get set up, it'll probably be about 10 off 10, something like that. Um, yeah. All dead baiting, all on pike. Rule number one, whenever you're fishing and you're getting yourself set up, always make sure you set your net up first. Now, there's a reason for that. You never know if, just by chance, you get your first rod out, within seconds you could have a bite. All of a sudden you've got no net set up, anything set up. So rule number one, always what I do, is get my net set up first. It's done then, it's out of the way, it's dusted with and you've got no, no problems then going forward if you do get a fish on early doors. Um, as I say, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm hopeful to catch down here. Um, I've had a few out of here before, some quite nice size ones as well, to be fair, um, within the, the 10 pound mark and the 12 pound mark. Um, yeah, I mean, I am hopeful. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Hopefully something will come through today. I always say that. Um, but if not, they obviously are, are not around here. And I'll have to try and look for another location. See, I might move if there's nothing within the first, say, till about one o'clock. It's warm out, it's fresh. And yeah, man, can't wait. But yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I'll let you know. Folks, see you in a bit. So then, folks, all set up. We're all um, ready. Um, got this little spot, as I say. Canal boat just coming by now, but it's not going to be anywhere near my lines, so that's perfect for me. Um, yeah, hopefully, we'll get something really, really hopeful. Um, if not, don't make no difference. I'm out in the fresh air, and that's all that matters, and that's how I'm going to see it. You know, it is about enjoying yourself on your days off, getting that fresh air, seeing the wildlife, seeing what's out there. I'm meeting new people. Anyway, catching a bit. So I've had a lovely call off my mate Dave. The legend he is. He might pop down in a bit. He's busy today. He's watching Leeds match and stuff and he's got bits and bobs to do like shopping and so on and so on and so on. That's why Dave's not on my trip today. But anyway, getting back to it. Um, yeah, I'm missing him today. I always miss my mate Dave when we're fishing. It's always nice to have a buddy that you can have that, that bit of a laugh with and that conversation with when you're fishing. You know, it breaks the day up and makes it go a bit quicker, doesn't it? You know, when you're just sitting there doing nothing, it's a bit more boring sort of thing. But it's nice. If you go fishing, I do suggest. It's a peaceful sport if you like your own time and your own company. It's nicer to get out in that fresh air. But also, if you do like to have someone there, go with you. It's always a good laugh. So I like to go with two people, to be fair. I like having that conversation. I like doing bits and bobs and funny videos with him. He's a legend, but he's let me down today. He's watching Leeds. I don't know why he's watching them for, but he's watching them. Anyway, folks, nothing's happened so far. Um, Canal's like right dirty down here now. Like the, the locks have opened up and they've brought loads of like um, top weed through. I'll show you. So this is a spot where I'm fishing. As you can see, I've got both my rods out, but it is covered in that what, green weed, whatever it is. It's fucking horrendous absolutely horrendous anyway i'm loving my life down here by myself got my crocs on i got brought some new gibbets over the weekend got pizza and i got this one a lot that's nice little bad boy so they're on there anyway catching a bit folks so then guys the time now is one o'clock and there's been nothing whatsoever I mean, I didn't think it was going to be the case that it was going to be nothing, to be quite honest with you. I mean, I've got a few more hours worth of fishing, um, but as it stands, there's nothing happening at the forefront um, so far. Um, shame, really. And I say this every time, I do think, as I say, Beeston has 
particularly gone downhill. Um, but content's content at the end of the day, and hopefully we'll try and get something through. Um, still got a couple more hours. There's a lot of fish showing on the surface and things like that, sprats and stuff, which why I thought, you know, might have the opportunity to probably snatch a quick bite or something like that. Um, I mean, great float fishing down here. That's what I can say. Um, but other than that, the, the big fish have all disappeared, I think. A lot of them have, uh, which is a shame. Um, with the small sprats flying around here, there and everywhere, I thought, you know, there might be an opportunity for a perch or a pike or something to maybe have a bite. Uh, nothing, nothing so far. But, um, roll on four o'clock when I finish up, pack all up, get packed away at home. Um, hopefully we might have something through from then. Uh, but as it stands, yeah, nothing. Legends, people, enjoy the rest of your day. Hope it's going well. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe and like button, as I say. So, guys, time now is 20 to 3. Still nothing. A bit devastated, to be fair. Um, I mean, there's nothing to be devastated over, apart from that, I've not caught a fish, really. Uh, um, it's been a tough one today, really, really tough one. Um, but Beeston, as I say, is a struggle for fish down here. There's no big fish, there's a lot of small fish, as I said earlier in uh, the video. You know, float fishing, yeah, you do spot on here. Other than that, genuinely, it's not worth it. You're better off going somewhere like San Diego, Chilwell area, if you're in the Nottingham area, on them canal systems there. Um, there's a really good spot in, in between them two areas where I like to go fishing. I call it Bimbag Alley, um, and I tend to do really well there. Uh, but here, uh, nothing. It's um, a shocker. It's dead. Absolutely dead. I've moved the rods around a number of times um, to put them near the bridge, under the bridge, out in the channel, from the channel, in the middle, literally every single where. Um, I mean, you know, it's, it's a fair big expanse of water. This is it where I'm fishing here. Not not massive um, by any means, but you know, for a, a pike to come into this area, you know, it's expected. Maybe it's um, the time. Maybe they're not out this way yet. Maybe there's just none in this 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 part of the canal. Maybe they're all further down. Uh, there's been the times where I fish further down though, and there's been nothing there as well. Uh, so it has been a really really tough fishing session um, obviously when you go fishing you don't catch any fish it's uh, yeah it's disheartening it's what you come here to do isn't it you know you get your rods out in the bank you fish and you catch fish it is disheartening but beast as a whole is very very difficult for the fish at the minute you've got the mighty trent which is just at the back of me here um, i could fish that i was thinking about fishing it but i've um decided not to today uh, maybe I should have. Maybe I should have gone Trent instead. Um, however, you know, we learn. We're learning about more and more about this area. And every time that I've been here so far in the recent times, it's just been nothing. Um, yeah, tough. Really tough. Um, seeing the view boats, though, it's been quite nice for that reason. Um, a few nice people on the boat saying hello. A few dog walkers saying hello and a few people just stopping by for a chat, which is always nice. Um, other than that, yeah, devastated. Anyway, folks, um, this might be the last video. I'll do a video when I'm home um, and we'll upload it. But it looks like today has been an unsuccessful day. It's quarter three. I said I'm going to pack up at four. I might start packing up about half three, to be fair, which is in 45 minutes' time. So if nothing comes through, we'll end it. But yeah, stay tuned for more.